but those who are regular viewers of my channel definitely i know they are uh, following my channel regularly whenever i am uploading the new videos but i am requesting you for them those who are uh, searching my channel first time today so please don't skip the video you have to watch full video till end otherwise you may not understand the what is the topic today so today's topic is numeracy vocabulary what is called numeracy vocabulary first of all what is the meaning of vocabulary vocabulary means some of the words particular words we are using for some of the particular topic now today's topic is numeracy and we will discuss the particular word which is regarding the which is which words we are denoting for the numeracy you know in our mathematics there are several types of symbols are there so when those who are new those who are kids they don't have any idea about the symbols so for them it's very important to know the vocabulary first so after that they can easily understand so today i will discuss the th four the four of the symbols what is that number one is addition subtraction multiplication and division in the case of addition what kind of words we are using increase together more plus total add means suppose suppose i have five chocolates with me again i bought five more chocolates from the shop so how many chocolates remaining with me no no how many chocolates all together with me because previously i have five chocolates again now i had five chocolates more with me that means i am using more together that increase definitely Be before i had five chocolates again i bought five chocolates that means the quantity of the chocolates are increased so in that case we will do the addition that means increase together more plus total add then number is i am talking about the subtraction in the case of subtraction difference between subtract decrease take away fewer minus take from is the vocabulary in the case of subtraction that is suppose i had 10 chocolates with me somebody to somebody came and he took away all the chocolates from me that means i am here i am using the two cup that means i had for 10 chocolates and uh, somebody came and uh, he snatched the all the chocolates from me he didn't give me that means the quantity of the chocolates uh, whatever the quantity of the chocolates is with me is increased no it decreased because he took away all the chocolate from me that means here and the if i tell you what is the difference between the uh, chocolates what i had before and what the uh, person who snatched who snatched the chocolates from me what is the difference 10 minus 10 that means i am using minus difference between so decrease take away take from so this is the subtraction how many the uh, total how many not total the remaining how many with me remaining me zero chocolates with me that means none of the chocolates with me now because previously i had 10 chocolates and somebody took away all the chocolates from my side okay so that means this is the subtraction multiplication third number third is multiplication multiply multiplied by product lots of times times table these are the words when we are using the multiplication now what is the times times means if i will tell you 2 times 2 what is the this 2 times 2 is equal to 4 that means whenever we will do multiplication we will use times understand yes this is the times when i am doing times table that means 2 into 2 this is the two table 3 3 times 2 this is the this is the three table 4 4 times 2 that means this is the fourth four number four table so this is called times table times now table. product what is the meaning of product you know if i will tell you 6 times 3 is equal to 18 that means 18 is a product of 
6 and 3. If I will tell you like this, that 18 is the product of 6 and 3. That means, already you have understand what I am using the phrases for the, in the case of multiplication. Now, the, I am telling about lots of. You know, lots of is the phrase when we are doing the multiplication. If I am telling you that two, lots of two, it means I have two box, two groups of two. That means I have two boxes and each boxes I have two items are there. there so, lots of two, this is being used when we are doing the multiplication. Let's get started for the division. Now I am talking about the division. In the case of division, we are using the sum of the words vocabulary. What is that? Divided by share, divisible by, divide, divide into group, ratio and percentage. Now, what is the way I am using? Divided by. That means the number, the number you are dividing is called as a divisor. And the answer of the divisor is called as quotient. And in that particular division, if there is a remaining part is called as reminder. So, what is that? The number, the number you are dividing is called as a divisor. And the answer of the division, answer of the division is called as quotient uh, is the E and if there is any remaining part is called as a remainder. So, divided by is closed. Now, what is the uh, percentage? Percentage means, percentage means is a portion of a whole expressed num as a number. That means, percentage means as a portion of a whole expressed as a number between 0 to 100. Rather than a fraction. Suppose all of something, all of something is called as 100%, half of something is called as 50% and none of something is called as 0%. So, percentage. Okay. Next one is group. I am giving some of the example of the sharing and grouping. Maybe you can ask me what is the sharing and grouping. It means same uh, when we are doing the division. No, it's not the same. Let me give you the example. Suppose this is the sharing and this side is grouping. Sharing. What does it mean? See, listen. I am giving one example. Divide 10 into 2 groups. That means I have 2 groups and I have 10 counters or 10 chocolates, anything. So, I have to divide the 10 counters in between the 2 groups. Okay. How can I Share the counters into two groups. I can give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. I can give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I can put 5 here and A group. I can put uh, 5 counters in A group and other 5 counters in B group. In this way, I can uh, divide the 10 counters in between the two groups. That means 5 in each group are there. That means how I do 10 divided by 2. The all counters are 2. All counters are 10. And in between 2 groups that means 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Next, in the case of grouping, divide 10 into groups of 2. That means 5, five groups of 2. That means how can I divide or how can I grouping 10 counters in between the groups of 2? That means I have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups and each group I have, if I am putting 2, 2 counters in each 5 groups, then I can exactly divide the 10 counters. But here is, is the different. So, here 5 groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups and each group I am putting 2, 2. Then I can easily grouping the 10 counters. Next, again the next the same. I am giving another example to make you understand. Divide 9 into 3 groups. That means 3 in each group. That means I have 
three groups and in three groups i have to share the nine counters how can i share i if i am putting three three counters in each group easily i can divide that means how the division will be the division will be total total is nine nine divided by three is equal to three so three three counters are uh, sharing in between the three groups now among the three groups like that i can share here divide nine into groups of three that means that means i have three groups and i have to divide the nine counter so th these cases both are same see three 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 if i am putting three 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 in each group then i can easily divide the nine the next one divide 12 into four group that means i have four group in my hand then in four in each group if i am putting three three easily i can divide share the 12 counters that means 12 divided by four groups is equal to three through so each group i have i have to put the three counters in each group the next the same in the grouping divide 12 into groups of four that means i have four groups four no, counters in each groups so, like, divide 12 into groups of four that means each groups i have to put four four counters because groups of four it means is groups of four means in each group i have to put in four four counters like here if i am putting three four four counters how have uh, remaining how much so if i one group i am putting four one two three four again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that means if i make the three groups and if i am putting four four counters in each group easily i can understand easily i can divide the 12 counters in three groups of four the letter divided by four is equal to three hope you understand the vocabulary of the numeracy vocabulary so uh, in next episode i will show you more worksheets regarding regarding the multiplication and how you understand the division like sharing grouping so it is easy for you to understand the vocabulary and if you understand the vocabulary definitely it is easy for you to do the calculations okay so thank you so much thanks for watching bye bye so the next point is ratio division what is called ratio division ratio division is a very simple as calculating the sum of all shares then dividing the amount by the total of all shares to define a value of one share is called as ratio division so this is the vocabulary of today's class hope you understand my videos if you have any queries definitely you will give your valuable comments in my comment section if you like my video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel and you just put the bell notification around the subscribe button because if you push the bell notification you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading the new videos so till today good day goodbye take care bye bye hello